Welcome to episode four of Basic Music Theory for Ukulele Players. In this episode, we're going to talk about scales, and we're going to look at the pentatonic scale. But first, a bit of a recap on what we did last time, which was to talk about the chromatic scale. In other words, all the notes that are between one note and its octave, either above or below. So when we looked at that last week, we had our C string, for example, the open C. When we went up 12 frets on that, we got to another C, an octave above. Now, each of those frets between it represented a semitone, and we talked about those semitones as having names like sharps and flats. So when we looked at our C string and played every fret all the way up, we ended up with a C chromatic scale. So we're going from C to C in terms of the alphabet, but we're filling in the other notes where we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, etc. all the way up. There are 12 frets here from 0 all the way up to the 12th fret. Now I've called them sharps because we're going up. Uh, coming down we might call them flats. And you can see I've given the equivalent flat name to the notes as well. So C sharp when it's written as a D would be written as D flat. D sharp when it's written as an E would be written as E flat. You'll notice there's no E sharp, there's no B sharp, there's no F flat and there's no C flat. They actually do exist, but they're, but they're referred to by the, the underlying name. That typically in the music you're going to be playing, a C flat will just be a B. Uh, a, a E sharp is just going to be called an F. So and I'm, I stress that that's, that's in sort of basic, basic ukulele playing that you're going to be having a look at. So we can play that all on one string, as we did last week, or we can start to move up the strings, uh, rather across the strings, and use all of our strings. If we have a look at that sequence again, whilst we can play that all on one, one string, let's have a look. What, what can we get onto the, onto the C string before we run into the next string higher, which is our E string? Well, we can play a C, C sharp, D, and D sharp, and then we run into an E. So we could play that all on the C string, and then we could start playing on the E string here. And then from E, F, F sharp, and G, and G sharp, we could play those all on the E string. Because we run into the A next, but we've got an A open string, so let's play these ones on the A open string. And we're just going to use three strings, our C, E, and A strings. And we're going to play open, first, second, third fret, open on the E, first, second, third, fourth fret, open on the A, first, second, third fret. And these are our open notes, C, E, and A. Whilst there is an open G we, on our fourth string, we're not going to use it because we want to sort of have that linear idea of going from low to high and moving from the third to the second to the first string. So our G, whilst it could be played open on the fourth string for a high G ukulele, we're going to be playing it on the third fret of this E string. And it's going to sound something like this. So starting on the C string, open, first fret, C sharp, second fret D, third fret D sharp, and then across to open E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, open A, B flat or A sharp, B and C, and there's our octave. So there we've played the chromatic scale, but using three strings to play it, and staying down on this part of the fretboard rather than having to jump all the way up to the 12th fret. So that's probably the easiest scale to play. On one string, it's certainly the easiest scale. When we start to move across, you can learn those notes of the fretboard as you go, and it really helps you understand the fretboard if you know what notes you're playing. Now, that uses all 12 tones. The simplest scale would be one note. Right? Now, a one-note scale is just a named note. It's not a scale. Right? If we play a note and its octave, we have two notes. So C, for example, we have what's known as a perfect octave. That is called an interval. So any two notes are known as intervals. They're not known as scales. Now, you can have major intervals, minor intervals, and I'll talk about that another time. You have perfect intervals. intervals you've heard of diminished, augmented, there's, there's four different names, or sorry, five different names for intervals. That's when you have two notes. When we have three notes, and if they're played together, they might be referred to as a triad. If we have four notes, 
five, uh, four notes we might have um, played together. That might be a chord. Um, when we have five notes played in sequence, they could be a scale. We're going to look at the first one of those, and it's called the pentatonic scale because there's five notes. So the pentatonic scale starts with our first note, which is always the name of the scale. So in this case, we're going to look at the C pentatonic scale. If I refer back to this board very quickly, and we have our alphabet going from C to C, we're going to number these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, or one again. Same thing. There we go at the top. The pentatonic scale uses one, two, three, five, oh, and six, not seven. Seven. Six. Goodness, I'll get it right eventually. Okay, five notes. There they are. C, D, E, F, G, and A. Now, we play those using exactly the same frets that we found for the chromatic scale. So it's going to be C open, D, open E, G on the third fret, open A. And if we go all the way to the top C, even though that's six, that's starting the scale again. If we put that all together, you'll recognize this as a familiar pop tune. So it's the start of My Girl, very popular. Uh, very very common sequence. In fact, that pentatonic scale is one that you will encounter uh, when you're trying to solo. So um, there are other pentatonic scales. We're not going to go into them in this series, but that's the major pentatonic scale. Now, if we turn that from note names into fret numbers, we have 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 3. If we want to change the name of this scale from C to something else, then we add on the frets we need to get to that name note from C. In other words, if we say we want to do the D pentatonic scale, D is 0, 1, 2 frets away from C. So I'm going to add 2 onto every fret I had previously. So instead of starting on open, I'm going to start on open plus 2 is 2. Then instead of going to the second fret, I'm going to go to the second fret plus two, which is the fourth fret. Then we previously went across to our open string, now add two, second fret. Then we went to the third fret previously, we're going to add two, is our fifth fret. Open, add two, to the third fret, add two, is five. And we've moved from our C pentatonic to our D pentatonic scale. Now, an easy way of thinking about this is if we, as I said, use the fret numbers. So here is the C pentatonic scale from the bottom to the top. All right, our C pentatonic scale has got an open C. Second fret on the C string is our D. Open C, sorry, open E. Third fret on the E string is G. Open A for A. And then third fret is our C again. So that's our C pentatonic. If we add frets to each of these numbers, we get different scales. I used the D one before. So we take D, add two frets because D is two frets away from C. Then we get D, add two, add two, we get four. That's the fourth fret now on the C string. We jump to the E string, add two frets, add two frets. That's the notes on the E string. Then we go to the A string, add two frets, add two frets. So this is our D pentatonic scale. And we can just keep going. Let's take the F. So how far away is F? F is the fifth fret. So we had to add five frets from C to open to get to F. So we start on the fifth fret. We're going to add five to everything we had before down here in the C string. So five onto zero is five. Five onto that is seven. Then we go to E string, add five, add five, a string, 5, add 5, we get to 8. And that's our F pentatonic scale, starting on the 5th fret of the C string, 
then the fifth fret of the E string, the fifth fret of the A string. This is how you move pentatonic scales. The next episode in this, in this series is going to be on the major scales.